Hi guys, welcome to Kevin's Tried and Tasted. Uh, today we're going to be tasting a red wine from Chile. Um, now it's no budget, um, bog standard red wine. Um, it is a the Tabali Reserva Especial from the Limari Valley in, uh, in, in, in northern Chile. And I picked this up in Curious Wines for, uh, and it's available for seven, €17.99. Euro and but, uh, so, so anyway, just a little bit, so the, the Limari Valley is uh, one of the northernmost regions in, um, in Chile. It's from the Coquimbo region, um, and it's very close to the Atacama Desert. Um, so, you know, there's, when you're hearing that, it's close to the Atacama Desert, um, it's got quite a low rainfall up here. It's about four inches of uh, average rainfall um, uh, annually. And um, so this is, as we said, the Reserva Especial 2007, which is a 70% 70, 70 blend of Syrah, 20% Cabernet, and 10% Merlot. And it's aged in 18 months French oak. Now, I'm just going to touch a little bit on something that um, I don't think everyone's aware of. Now, some of you might, but um, just to let you know about, like, as they call it, a Reserva Especial. Now, it actually means nothing. Um, in, in, in general terms, uh, it, when you when you get a wine from Chile, if it says Reserva on the label, there's no guarantee that that particular wine is better than a non-Reserva wine, or there's no guarantee that that wine has been treated any differently to a, a wine from Chile that, um, that that doesn't have Reserva on the label. And what I mean by that is that um, the term Reserva would mainly we're used to have seen on Spanish and Italian wine labels, and now from Chile and Argentina, but in Spain and Italy. If you put the word Reserva on, your, on a wine label, there is an inspector and there is a, 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 a region criteria that, uh, that that particular winemaker has to meet before he can put Reserva on. In Chile and Argentina, that doesn't exist. The winemaker has the freedom to put Reserva on any wine that he wishes. Now, generally, those wines can be quite good, but just be aware that there is no, there's a potentially no difference between a Reserva and a non-Reserva wine. In, in, uh, in Chile and Argentina. So, that being said, um, I'm looking forward to this taste as red because the, the blend is quite funky and it's, um, it's a region I've never heard of. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't heard of it because you know, it's the first time I ever came across it, the Lima Ri Valley. Um, you know, there's like Conchoa Valley and Central Valley, of course, where most of the, the, um, the budget Chilean reds come from and Chilean whites as well. But So, I love the label actually. I don't know what you guys think of it. It's a really good label, isn't it? It's quite nice. Um, and, you know, good weight in the bottle as well, which is always a good sign, I find. Good weight. Anyway, enough talk and uh, more drinking. So, there we go. Oh, it's a good, lovely colour on that, you know. Um, let's see much. I have a bit of a white background here on that that I have. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. That's a uh, good concentration towards the rim. No sign of aging, of course, since the 2007, but looks good to the eye. Very pleasant. Ooh, wow. It's a good nose on this. Very rich, very dark fruit, um, rich concentration. Um, no jamminess, no macchiato, and um, fake fruits on this. This is a real deal. Oh, I love it. A good bit of kind of spicy tobacco element there as well. Really mixed in with rich black fruits. Um, blackberries, predominant. Cassis. Um, mm, quite, quite a spicy element. Sorry, there's a fly there bugging me. A uh, bit of spice there now at the moment I'm picking up. Oh, really nice nose. Very delicious. Really, you know, this is... This is a good sign, I think. You know, um, I'm looking forward to this now after this nose. This is one of those, you know, one of those wines where you, you smell it and you're like going, oh, your mouth just starts to water, and you're really anticipating a good flavour, good a good wine. So let's taste it. Oh yeah. Whoa, this is a big fella. Oh, delicious black fruit coming in. It's the initial attack on, on the palate. Really rich concentration. Um, paved away to a very spicy, um, actually quite minerally um, and, uh, finish. Oh, 
I must go into it again now because it was just literally there was too much there for my brain to handle at first. Oh, it's a big guy. Good grippy talons on this. Um, it's serious. Uh, very long finish. Picking up a bit of heat, which you know, I'm a little bit concerned with. You know, it's, it's 14 and a half percent. Well, long, rich flavoured. Um, oh, even though, yeah, and it is quite minery coming towards the finish. Um, very, very nice, very nice. Uh, really kind of stony kind of element. Um, very subtle flavours there coming towards the end. It's still tasty, and now it's delicious. Um, alcohol is a little concerning to me at the moment, but uh, let me have another taste. There is a little bit of a burn off the alcohol. I think that's. I, I'm actually. I, I don't mind it too much. I'm not sure if it's almost the burn, but it could be also the, the spiciness of the, of the finish. Um, delicious. Really good red. Um, you know, I haven't come across many Chilean wines. And um, you know, this is pricey for the Chilean. You know what I mean? This could be almost three times the average price for uh, of a Chilean wine nowadays. You know, talking about 18 euro. And you know, there's not. I, I haven't been exposed to many high end Chilean reds. This is probably one of my first experiences of it. Um, but this is definitely, you know, this would be something. You know, if you're saying if you put that in Europe, in France, um. Is, you know, you're talking minimum 25 euro could be your outlay for a wine of this uh, this potential, I think. Um, so you know, that's what that's what the, the new world brings to the table. It brings some good value. Um, you know, sometimes they kind of let us down too much, but in, in my experience, they do. But uh, this is this is a good, this is a lovely red. Um, right, yeah, I'm going to finish this off now. I'm not going to throw this away. Um, the Tabali Reserva Special guys, available from Curious Wine. I put the link on down below if you're watching. Um, oh, actually, yeah, that's something else. Um, uh, if you're if you're watching from my from my homepage, my website, Kevin's tried and tasted, and um, you'll see towards uh, your right which is, uh, over here, there is um, there's a new link that I have on, which is a, another part of the web, uh, website, which is Irish Wine Bloggers. I have a couple of guys there listed. I'm going to be adding more and more. So if uh, if you're new to the site or if you're new to um, looking for some good wine blogs, uh, some good Irish wine blogs, there's a good selection there. So do, please do check them out. Uh, listen, thank you very much, guys, for watching. And um, we'll be back uh, in a couple of days with a new episode. Thank you. Bye now. See you.